Module 5, Segment 1 Creating a Sales Order from a Customer Quote The objective of this training session is to convert an existing customer quote into a sales order when the customer has received the quote and now issued a purchase order to you. Please note that this session assumes you have already completed Modules 1 through 4. We'll begin by opening the quote we previously created. Select the Customer Quotation icon arrow and select Browse. The Find for Browsing Customer Quotes window opens. Type the number of the existing quote and select OK. The Browsing Customer Quotes window opens, listing all quotes that match the number you entered. To select the quote, double click or hit Enter. The Customer Quote window opens. Select Global from the Action buttons at the bottom of the screen. The Global Options window opens. Select Create Sales Order. The Create SO4 window opens. If your customer has ordered all items you have quoted him, select All Items. In this example, we will choose Selected Items to demonstrate what to do if your customer has ordered only some of the items you have quoted him. Select Selected Items. The Select Quote Items for Sales Order window opens. Use your mouse to click in the flag column at the far left of each line to be included in the new sales order. In this example, we are including only line item number 1. When finished, select the Done Action button. The Creating Sales Order window opens. Please note, had we elected to create the sales order for all items in the Create SO4 window, we would have proceeded directly to this step. In this window, Type your customer's purchase order number. There are checkboxes that allow you to reserve any in-stock items that were pre-selected when quoting and transfer quote item notes into your new sales order. When finished, select OK. The sales order window opens, containing the line item we elected to convert from the quote. Note that the quote number displays on the SO line item. If we navigate back to the quote by clicking on the Customer Quote tab on the Windows bar, we will also see that our sales order number is displayed in our Customer Quote. To recap what we have learned in this lesson, we have created a sales order for items that had been quoted to a customer. Once the sales order was created, we have seen that the quote number is displayed in the new sales order and that the sales order number is displayed in the quote. You may now proceed to Module 5, Segment 2, Creating a Sales Order When No Quote Exists.